I quit. Actually, the whole positive power of no book thing was about making clear decisions about quitting or just saying no. As I grow older, I get better and better at this. I think we gain a certain clarity about what's valuable to us. For some, it's metrics like career and money. For others, it's more esoteric values like time and independence. And at some point, we begin to understand that not only can't we say yes to everything, either starting something new or even continuing something already engaged in, but even saying maybe has tremendous resource costs. I have the same rule I suspect many of you do. It's some variation on the theme that quitting is not noble. Quitting is failing. To further exacerbate the challenge, staying with the status quo is comfortable, even if the status quo isn't doing anything particularly valuable for me. It's comfortable because it lives within that rule I have about not quitting. Then I get between the rock and that proverbial hard place. The rock uh, is the realization that this or that condition is simply not taking me where I want to go. And the hard place is the rule about not giving up that condition. So I quit. Back in 1986, when my original partner and I hung out a shingle as management consultants, we did all our work on the dining room table at my house. One evening, my wife Margaret came home after a long day's work to discover her dining room table completely obliterated with our projects. In no uncertain terms, she suggested that if this endeavor couldn't generate enough income to afford an office somewhere besides her dining room, perhaps we should try something else. Margaret was the rock. The comfort zone of just mudding along at the dining room table was the hard place. We rented an office. In the past 28 years, I rented office space from four different landlords. I've been located for the past 14 years and loved every minute of it right here. They've accommodated me when I expanded and when I downsized. I'm close friends with the owners. It's 400 yards from my house. It's very, very comfortable. In the, in the past year, I probably haven't even been in my office more than once a week. The entire nature of my business has changed. My clients, the technology, my connectivity has just made it easy not to go in to the office. So I quit. You might notice the packed boxes behind me. As comfortable and wonderful as the last 14 years have been, by the first of next month, I will be officing back at my house. Oh no, not at the dining room table but actually in one of my daughter's converted bedrooms upstairs. So the video background will change. The physical address will change. Phone numbers will not change. And I'll convert my monthly rent check to something more drivable. What can you change, give up, or quit that can launch you up to the next level or your next big adventure? What's the old adage? You can't get to second base with your foot still on first. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.